Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Music Theory Tuition Series where I work with you step by step through the ABRSM Discovering Music Theory grades. I'll work through every single exercise and explain everything you need to know. You can access information about the books I have available to help you on my website. Go to SharonBill.com. For advert-free and longer lessons, you can become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill. If you can give me a like, that would be super. And please do subscribe to my channel to stay updated. You can support this channel by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Sharon Bill. We turn now to page 32 in the Grade 4 Discovering Music Theory Workbook. And we're continuing to look at minor scales. And here we are sort of suggested to have a repeated go at playing these scales so that you can get used to their sound. So you can hear where there's a raised seventh or you can hear where there's a raised sixth or seventh. However, I do strongly recommend that you practice scales of major and both minor forms anyway on your instrument because they are foundational not only in helping you with your technical ability on your instrument but every piece of music that you will be playing or 90% of the music you'll be playing will be written in these scale structures and once you've practiced the scales and the arpeggios these will mean that the notes that you need for your pieces are under your fingers so do incorporate scales into your practice schedule it's so helpful and once you've got the notes under your fingers it's actually quite relaxing to just bash through them I don't mind knocking through a few scales it's quite therapeutic really but now we get to test our knowledge and we're asked if these statements are true or false so I suggest you just kind of have a little go of this use it as a little test and then uh, see how you get on. It's always better to learn by your mistakes. I know that I am repeating myself. It's so very important though. If you work in pencil, you can make as many mistakes as you like. You can just erase them out and have another go. This is the time to learn by those mistakes. So I'm hoping you've had a go. Let's look at this together now. So in the scale of G sharp harmonic minor, is the leading note F double sharp. You may be able to just answer that quickly off the cuff, but the way that you would think about this, let's find out the answer. So the degrees of the scale are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's G something, A something. We'll worry about the sharps in a moment. C, D, E, F, G. Now G sharp minor is related to B major which has a key signature of F, C, G, D, A and this is why it's so important to have these key signatures to hand. You're going to be referring to them all the time. So that would be F sharps, C sharps, G sharps, D sharps, A sharps. Now the leading note is the seventh degree of the scale, which is F sharp. However, we've then got to raise it in the harmonic minor form, because that's going up or down, and that becomes F double sharp, and so that is true. Is it true or false that the submediant degree of B flat harmonic minor is G? Well, let's think about this. So the degrees of the scale are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Starting on B flat, we'll let the key signature do the rest. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. The submediant degree of the scale is the 6, so it's here. However, we're not quite there yet because B flat minor is related to D flat major, which has a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats, G flats. There's the clue. That's actually a G flat. And so that's false. Not quite the full picture there. Is it true or is it false that the same notes are used ascending and descending in the melodic minor scale? Well, we know that's false because we know from the little formula that we looked at last lesson, ascending, we raise the six 
and the seventh and descending it's the key signature only isn't it so that's that's false and it's the melod it's the harmonic minor not the melodic minor that's what that is now then, is it true or is it false that the relative minor of B flat major is D flat minor? Well, in actual fact, that's the wrong way round. It seems feasible, but B flat minor is related to D flat major, which has a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats, and G flats. But that's not at all the same. It's not the same the wrong way, the other way round. It's wrong that B flat major is related to D flat minor. It's not at all. It's B flat minor is related to D flat major, which is not at all the same thing. So that's false. And then, is it true that B flat minor contains the key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats and G flats. Well, we've just already discussed that. And so we know that that is indeed true. Now in this little challenge here, we asked to write the scale of B flat harmonic minor in the bass clef here, ascending and descending using a key signature, and that's the thing that does all of the work for us. Now they even kindly remember, remind us to place accidentals that are not part of the key signature, and as this is the harmonic minor, if you remember the two steps are, one we need to think of the relative key signature, the relative major key signature. Step two, Going up and down, we need to raise the seventh. That's the accidental that you need to add. The key signature will do everything else. So we need to remember what is the related major key signature. It's related to D flat major, which has a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats, G flats. Positioning those carefully, you need a sharp pencil, Keep them tall and thin so they don't spread out and use too much space. And now we need to find the note B. Good boys there. It's already B flat because the key signature is doing the job. Remember that scales just means step. We're stepping up this ladder. One, two, three. Line, space, line. That's a bit wonky. Let's try that again. The line should go through the middle of the note. Better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We finished on B, the middle C would be here, so we know we've gone, we've not gone astray, that's correct. Now here we have a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats, G flats at the moment. This is a flat, which we don't want, and so we're gonna to have to raise that, and to raise a flat, A flat raised becomes a natural, and so we need to have a natural sign here to cancel that part of the key signature. And then coming back down, we'll do the same thing again in reverse. So we have a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats, G flats. That flat isn't, I'm not doing very well with my positioning here, am I? There we go. Always use pencil, indeed. And so we start on top B now because we're going to go down because I don't want to be starting here and have lots of ledger lines. Space, line, space, line. There's our octave, finish on low B, flat of course. Now because we're going backwards, this is the eighth, this is the seventh, so this is where the natural sign needs to be. And then we're asked to write it in the alto clef. So we've done all of the thinking. We just need to perhaps just take a moment to make sure we position everything correctly in this clef that we may not be accustomed to. So let's transplant the key signature here. Basically, when we're going from bass clef to alto clef, it looks like everything's gone up a step. B flat is now 
the space here below that C line, B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats, C, B, A, G flats, that's it. I'm going to do that now while I'm still thinking about it here as well. B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats, G flats. And so that's most of the work done now. So if this is C, this is B, one, two, stepping up, line space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's our A, na a flat, and so that needs to be made natural. We are going upwards, counting upwards here. And then if we start where we've just left off, And then that's correct, we've ended up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the eighth degree of the scale. This is the seventh. That's our A natural. C, D, E, F, G, A, eight, seven. That's it, that's correct, and that's now complete. I hope this is helpful to your studies. Please do like and subscribe to stay updated. If you'd like to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee and for advert free lessons, you can become a patron. Do visit my website where you'll find many resources available to help you. Visit SharonBill.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.